Excuse me. Oh, yes? Uh, do you know where room 17 French is? Yeah, it's... <laughs> Abignale, but Abignale. Now, well, somebody please tell me where you left off in your textbooks. Excuse me, people, if I need to ask again, I'm gonna write up the entire class. Take your seats! Chapter seven. Will you please open your textbooks to uh, chapter eight, and we'll get started? Excuse me, what's your name? Brad. Brad, why don't you get up here? in front of the class here, and read conversation number five. Liz Francais son, uh, generale meant Donsler pays Q, press Q, toot le monde, a uh, set impression. They sent and for me. They said they needed a sub for Roberta. I came all the way from, from Dixon. Well, I, I always sub for Roberta. Excuse me, why aren't you reading? Uh, QL's own. I'll rate. never come back to, to Bellarmine Jefferson again. Please. You tell them not to call me. What do they think? It's easy for a woman my age and all the money that it costs to travel. I tell you, they don't give it there. Mr. and Mrs. Abignale, this is not a question of your son's attendance. I regret to inform you that for the past week, Frank has been teaching Mrs. Glass's French class. He what? Your son has been pretending to be a substitute teacher, lecturing the students, uh, giving out homework. Uh, Mrs. Glasser has been ill, and there was some confusion with the real sub. Your son held a teacher-parent conference yesterday and was planning a class field trip to a French bread factory in Trenton. Do you see the problem we have? Mrs. Davenport, uh, I have a note to miss fifth and sixth period today. Doctor's appointment. Uh, one moment. I'll be right with you. Hey. Yes. Listen. Fold it. What? That note, it, it's a fake, right? You should fold it. It's, it's a note from my mom. I have a doctor's appointment. Yeah. Yeah, but there's no crease in the paper. When your mom hands you a note to miss school, the first thing you do is you, you fold it and you put it in your pocket. I mean, if it's real, where's the crease? <laughs> 